reverse transcription. Why do we want to do it? Well, let's take a look back at normal transcription. It's where DNA is made into messenger RNA. That is transcription. Let's take another look at the process. We've got DNA. Just a section here for one gene. We go through transcription and we end up with messenger RNA. But before it leaves the nucleus, it goes through another process. We remove all of the introns coiled around proteins and then bonds are forming here. These bits are cut off. So we end up with a short piece of mRNA and all the introns, the non-coding bits, not attached. So this is our DNA. This is our mature messenger RNA. Now what's the advantage of the mature messenger RNA? It's a lot shorter, a lot easier to move around, less likely to be prone to damage. So reverse transcription is where we're starting with a short piece that has all the coding information and it's not broken up at all by having non-coding introns, making it easier to use. This is used in some viruses. If you've heard the term retrovirus, it means it injects its RNA and your body turns it back to DNA. And good examples of that are AIDS and the common cold. Also used in biotechnology, which you'll be looking at at the start of grade 12.